Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be testing out if these ear candles will actually remove earwax. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe below to help me get to 2 million subscribers by the end of this year. That's my big goal. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So today's product is a little bit controversial because some people swear by ear candling and other people say it just doesn't work and it's quite dangerous. So I want to test it out. And basically, if you haven't heard of ear candling, it's like removing ear wax with these candles. Basically, you stick one end of it in your ear and you light the other side up so it is pretty dangerous and apparently the heat and the the flames supposed to like create this vacuum and melt the wax inside and just kind of like suck it up and all of it stays underneath like this I'll actually open a few so as it burns down all the wax gets trapped at the bottom here now I've seen videos on it on YouTube and some people like when you, they open it up there is actually earwax or like something that looks like earwax but I've read online that studies have shown that it's only like the residue from the candle. So I don't know if it works. Let me know if you have tried something like this. Has it worked for you and do you think it's actually removed earwax? Today I'm going to test it out on Alfred because it's a little bit hard doing it on yourself because I'll definitely like burn my hair or something. So I'm going to test it out on him. But first let me give you a closer look at these. So this is what the product looks like. It comes in a pack of four. These are from iHerb and the brand is Wally's Natural. On the bottom of the packaging you can see what like the procedure is. You can see that there's a candle just sticking out of your ear and it's lit up and that's basically what you do. On the side of the box it says this has like a no drip filter in it and it also says it's supposed to light this end, the wider end. So the candle will burn down into about here and then you remove it. At the back it tells you a bit of information about it but I love this line. It's your moment, make the most of it. Super relevant for this, right? Anyway, so I'm gonna open it up. Here's a closer look at the candle. It's actually a hollow candle and it's just like a cloth wrapped in paraffin wax or something. So as it burns down, all the buildup will sit at this bottom end here and there's a filter tip there as well. Please welcome Alfred back to my channel. He's like a regular on here now. He's like mm -hmm. the go-to guinea pig for anything wax related. Right? He's yeah, great. not something I'm very proud of. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen um, our video, Painless Wax versus Normal Wax? If you haven't seen that, go watch it. It's like the biggest failure ever. I'm, I'm so sorry. Bro. You should be. But for the record, <laughs> my armpits are A-OK -okay now. Anyway, so today we're going to try out the ear candle wax on you today. We're going to only do like one ear. Or do you want to do both ears? We'll see, we'll see. Um, and I saw on like other videos that people use like a full plate or something. So I just got this like plastic bowl that I covered in foil, poked a hole through it so the candle can sit. And then I'm just gonna like place it into his ear. It now, doesn't look very safe. This is the best I can do, boo. This is supposed to stop my head from burning, catching on fire. You have a very big head, I need a bigger plate. Anyways, before we do that, I want to check his ear to see if there's any earwax and I'm going to use this apparatus right here. This is like an earwax remover that we bought from Japan and this is what we use at home. It's pretty high tech, isn't it? Yeah. Totally. This is like the most high tech one that I've found. Um, so at the end, you've got like the, the scooper, the earwax scooper thingy. And in the middle here is there's a magnifying glass so you can, you know, really see if the earwax is in there and you really like scoop it out. And on this end is a little light. If I turn it on, there's a little light at the end and that just sits in there. And the light travels down here so you can, it lights up the ear canal and you can see the earwax. Pretty good, huh? Japanese are really good at this. So I'm gonna use this to see if there's any earwax in Alfred's ear before we start. Yep, I see a lot of earwax. So there's definitely earwax in his ear. I'll pop up some photos if you're not too disgusted to look at him. So there's proof that there is earwax. Let's see if the ear candles will remove them. Okay, so I've seen people do both of this. They kind of like sit down, tilt their head or lay down for the purpose of this video. Alfred will be in this position. 
Alfred's gonna hold the, the candle in his ear canal because he can he knows how deep to go. And I'm just gonna light this baby up. I do not know how deep to go. Well disclaimer. I do not know. <laughs> well what's comfortable for him, okay? You don't have to go too deep into the ear canal. You can just kinda like place it on the outer part. Ready? Yeah, nope, nope, nope. No? Nope. nope, this is dangerous, hey. <laughs> this is so dangerous. Yeah. I don't know how some websites say it's perfectly safe. This is like fire involved. You ready? Gonna light it up. What is the sizzling sound? Can you hear it? Yeah, there's a bit of a, like a cracking, crackling, sizzling sound. Apparently that's normal. Yeah, I don't know if it's working, hey, I like. Can you hear anything? What does it feel like? It doesn't feel anything. Oh my god, there's like smoke coming out of your ear. What? Oh yeah, it's a bit warm. Can we just film this part? Is this normal? It's like smoking. Okay, now I'm just getting kind of worried. Because I did not see smoke. It actually burns pretty slowly, doesn't it? Yeah, you tell me, it's pretty slow. It doesn't feel like anything, to be honest. It's not uncomfortable, aside from this position that I'm in. It actually burns so slow. It's just about, I'll we'll take it out. Take it out. Okay, so that took like, what, like 10 minutes for that candle to burn, it was quite, quite slow. Let's check Alfred's ear. Let's check to see if there's any earwax left. There's this like residue thing in your ear. There's still plenty of earwax in there. It looks a little bit different. From the look of things, I feel like there was still wax in Alfred's ear. I feel like it looked different because there was like a bit of residue that was like dry and kind of like white. Um, but I still managed to get some earwax out using the thing we normally use. But now I'm gonna like light a candle. Um, this will be the control candle. There won't be, we won't put it in Alfred's ear or anything. It will just be burning by itself. So I wanna open them up to compare at the bottom to see if there is any residue. Okay, I'm just gonna light it up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So with a control candle, you can see the smoke come out and that's what's going into your ear, which doesn't look like it's creating a vacuum. It just looks like there's a lot of smoke. Yeah, it's supposed to suck it in, but I don't see how this is sucking anything. It's just kind of blowing out smoke. Well, I think that's what's, that's the residue. That's kind of like, I think that's what's over your ear. It's like, it looks powdery. Can you see at the bottom here? That wasn't there before. It's like forming, I don't know, there's like stuff coming out of there and it looks like wax, but it's definitely not ear wax. Let me show you, that's the candle that we haven't burnt. And this is the candle we just lit up and it's still burning and then all this stuff's coming out of the bottom. So that's actually going in into your ear. Okay, time for the big reveal, guys. We're going to open up the one that was in Alfred's ear first. So you just unravel it. Ew. That was, ew. Look at all that bit. That part is definitely like from the candle. This darker part could be earwax, I don't know. Next, we're opening up the controlled one that was just burning by itself. It wasn't in any ear canal, so let's see what it looks like. Yeah, you can see that same wax. Oh, it's still as waxy. looks the same as the other one. As you can see, both of them looked Identical. the same. They look like, yeah, they still had the same residue. There was like a waxier, darker bit, and then the powdery, um, I don't know, the flaky, powdery bit. I don't think ear candy works at all. As you saw, when I was lighting up the controlled one, and you can see at the bottom there was smoke coming out, there was no suction happening. It's made my ear really waxy. It feels kind of like dry and icky and like, I don't know, yeah, it feels really waxy, like on the, on the outer and then even on the inside, it looks like there's, like there's white residue in there. Um, I still got some earwax out after, so like, 
Didn't really remove any earwax, to be honest. Yeah, I think we'll just stick to um, how we normally remove earwax. Yeah. What would you rate this? Zero. A zero. Yeah, a zero. Actually, I would rate it like a zero too. I don't think it, I don't like it how at all. How much was it? Um, I think I bought it for about $10 for four. I don't know what we're gonna do with these extra two. Maybe like... Like put on a birthday cake or something. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, actually don't. don't. <laughs> Forgot about the fumes that come out. Yeah, no, no, no. Not on a birthday cake whatsoever. But yeah, zero out of 10 doesn't work. I wouldn't recommend anyone trying this. Mm. It's definitely just a big myth. There is no scientific research behind it. I feel that with this experience, I don't, I wouldn't try it again. I didn't even try it on myself. I wouldn't try it on Alfred again. Super dangerous. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning into this video. We tried it, so you guys don't have to try it out at home. Um, let us know your thoughts on this ear candling business. And also, if you have any other um, products you want us to try and test out, anything wax related, you know Alfred's got our back. Uh, but subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I just called it our channel. I Like, you've been on it <laughs> for so long. You take it. Subscribe to my channel featuring Alfred if you haven't already. I really want to get to 2 million subscribers by the end of this year. So please help me out and subscribe. And yeah, that's it for now. We'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.